Hello guys. Karibuni kwa na Jerry. Na leo tukiwa tunaenda kuanza series mpya ya fundamentals of computer programming ili kuelewa series hii hauhitaji kuwa na ufahamu wote kuhusu lazima la computer programming na kama title ya series inavyosema ndio lengo lenyewe kumfunua mtu aweze kuelewa ni vitu gani huwa vinafanyika mtu anaposema I'm a programmer au I'm doing programming. Yo, karibuni. Sehemu ya kwanza ya series hii tutaenda kujiuliza maswali mawili. La kwanza likiwa ni what is programming na la pili likiwa what is a programming environment. Tukianza na swali la kwanza what is programming? Uh, Tunaambiwa kwamba programming is a way of issuing instructions that a computer will follow in order to accomplish a certain task. Kwa kama watu tunapofahamu ulimwengu wa sasa hivi umejaa kompyuta na programming ni namna inayoweza kutusaidia kuweza kuiziamuru hizo kompyuta zifanye kitu fulani ili i mean iziweze kufata maelezo fulani tunayozipa ili iweze kufanya kitu fulani the task itself uh, kwa wanasema this is done by the use of the so called computer languages kwa hiyo hauwezi kuongea na kompyuta moja kwa moja lazima kuwe kuna kitu ambacho kinaweza kukusaidia wewe kama binadamu uweze kuongea na kompyuta kama mashine na hiko kinafanyika kwa kupitia computer languages Uh, normal languages that we speak daily have common elements like nouns, verbs and pronouns. Kwa hiyo lugha ambazo watu tunaongea kila siku zina vitu kama vitenzi, vitu kama viwakilishi na kadhalika. Uh, sema like these normal languages, computer programming languages also have common elements. Kwa hiyo hata computer languages pia zina vitu ambavyo vinazifanya zinakuwa ni kama lugha na vitu hivyo computer inavielewa kwa urahisi tutaenda kuona mbele vitu kama variables vitu kama arrays na kila kitu twende tuone huko mbele anasema we will see these elements and show how they are almost the same across all programming languages by the end of this tutorial series you will be quite familiar with programming concepts and choose the language of your choice to implement them um tunaweza tukaona mfano wa program anasema the following images depict what a computer program looks like and what is the output from such program Uh, programi ina I mean inajumlisha namba mbili na inasema jawab lake ni hapo tunaona namba 4 na namba 6 zinajumlishwa kama program yenyewe na kwenye result tunaona matokeo yake ikisema the sum of 4 and 6 is 20 I mean is 10 sorry yani namba 4 na namba 6 ujumlishwa unapata jawab la 10 kwa lugha hii maandiko I mean programi maandiko wa lugha ya java na tunaona vitu vingi hapo kama public class na kuna semicolon kila baada ya I mean kila mwisho wa mstari hizo zote ni element kwa kutokana na lugha ya java yenyewe na kila language ina element zake ambazo tutaziona mbele so what is a programming environment na tunaona swali la pili anasema before you start writing instructions that the computer has to follow setting the environment in which you will write your program is the first step kwa kabla ya kuanza chochote kabisa lazima uandae mazingira ambayo atakusaidia wewe uweze kuandika hayo maelekezo kupitia hiyo unatakiwa kuyafuata ili uweze kufanya kazi ambayo unataka ifanye. Anasema you will need the following setup before starting working with any programming language. Kwa hiyo inabidi uwe na vitu vifuatavyo ili uweze kufanya kazi na lugha yoyote ile ya kompyuta. Kwa ya kwanza itakuwa ni text editor to write your computer programs. Uh, cha pili kitakuwa ni compiler to compile programs into binary format and cha tatu kitakuwa ni interpreter to execute the program directly. Tunaenda kuona vitu hivi kimoja baada ya kingine. Uh, a text editor is a software that is used to write computer programs that is instructions which the computer will follow to perform a certain task. Uh, so a good a good example of a text editor is Notepad which can be used to type programs. Uh, other editors include Notepad++, Visual Studio Code and Sublime Text etc. Kwa hiyo text editor ni software ambayo inakusaidia wewe sasa kama mwandishi wa commands ambazo unataka kompyuta isifate uweze kuziandika commands zenyewe sababu itakusaidia uwezo kufanya vitu kama editing kwa maana jina la text editor editor itakusaidia usikubalishe kama ukifanya makosa au ukifanya I mean, kuna kitu labda umesahau haujafata mwongozo kuna element fulani hujafanya vizuri kwa hiyo kupitia text editor unaweza ukafanya mabadiliko katika kufanya zako uh, program yeze ku run vizuri a compiler Asema, after writing a computer program in the language of your choice and saving it 
how to make the computer understand what you have written kwa hiyo baada ya kufanya uh, baada ya kuandika program yako na ku save file kwa sababu unakuwa unatengeneza mafile ukishali save hilo file inabidi sasa hatua inayofuata ni inabidi kompyuta iweze kuelewa maana hilo file maana zile command za kwenye file nini kwa sababu anasema computers don't understand normal text but rather binary numbers kwa kwa kawaida kompyuta ziwezi kaelewa yale maneno ambayo umeandika kama uliona kule mwanzo kwenye ile program ya java anasema public class calculator public static void main string mabano uh, sa computer haiwezi kaelewa ya maneno inabidi ya maneno yabadilishwe yaende kwenye mfumo wa sifuri na moja yani binary format zeros and ones ili iweze kuelewa so compilation inahitajika so the conversion from normal text to binary numbers is done by another software called compiler and the process is called compilation after compilation you can, you can perform the programmed task kwa hiyo haya mabaliko kutoka katika lugha ya kawaida ambayo umeandika yale maneno ya public class ili iweze kwenda katika mfumo wa sifuri na moja binary format zeros and ones inabidi yafanyike kwa kupitia compiler and wao taratibu mzima wa kubadilisha hayo maneno kutoka lugha ya kawaida hadi kwenda kwenye zeros and ones na itwa compilation kwa hiyo moja ya mifano ya lugha ambazo zinahitaji kufanywa compilation ili kompyuta iweze kuelewa ni pamoja na hizo C C++ na Java. Kwa hiyo utaratibu mzima wa compilation unafuata hizi hatua nne. Kwanza unaanza kwa kuandika computer program na unatengeneza kwenye file kwa step ya kwanza ya computer program file. Ah um, hatua inayofuata sasa ni kubadilisha hayo maneno ambayo umeandika katika file yako ili yaweze kuelewa na kompyuta na hiyo utaratibu huo unaitwa compilation. Kwa hiyo baada hapo kompyuta itatengeneza file yake ambayo inaitwa computer binary file na hatua inayofuata na ambayo ni hatua ya mwisho hiyo program itaanza kufanya kazi na program execution. Tukija kwenye interpreter anasema some languages do not need to be compiled into binary format and the instructions are read directly by an interpreter line by line and executed without any further compilation kwa hiyo kuna baadhi ya languages ambazo hazitaji kufanywa compilation lakini unapo run program yake kuna software nyingine inaitwa interpreter itafanya i mean itasoma program yako msari moja baada ya mwingine na program itarani moja kwa moja bila hiyo extra step ya kufanya compilation anasema thus in order to work with such programs we need to install an interpreter before we start working with them kwa hiyo install your software Um, interpreted computer programs languages include python ruby perl etc kwa hizo ni baadhi ya lugha ambazo zinafanywa interpretation um, process and interpretation ziko tatu kwanza utaanza kuandika program file uh, itakuwa mtu file yenyewe ile ni instructions hizo commands uh, then step inayofuata ni inapita hiyo file ya pisho kwenye interpreter Uh, na program itakuwa executed moja kwa moja. Kwa hiyo step tatu tu tofauti na compilation ambapo kuna extra step ya kufanywa compilation. Kufikia hapa inakuwa tumefika mwisho wa video ya leo. Uh, video inayokuja tutaenda kuona basic syntax ambazo uh, ni sheria unazotakiwa uzifuate ili kuweka mpangilio mzuri wa uandishi wa programu yako. Kwa sababu kama tunavyojua Kiswahili au Kiingereza kuna namna ya kupanga sentensi ili ziweze kuleta maana mfano wezi ukasema maji ya mikunyo unatakiwa useme mikunyo ya maji kwa hivyo na programming languages pia zina syntax zake ambazo unatakiwa ufate ili mpangilio wa maneno yako uweze kuwa sawa mm, naomba like subscribe na kushare video hii kama una swali au tatizo lolote naomba wachi comment nitakuwa tayari kukusaidia